I'm here at the booth of IEEE and Motive and what I want to do right now is move this car with the power of my brain. So the first thing we do is get you fitted with the headset, make sure we're getting good uh, signal from the brain. And then we do two different training sessions, a baseline reading. And then the second training, we have you focus on a specific thought. So you can have a visualization in your mind or think about doing a certain activity. And then once we train the system to recognize those two different uh, patterns, we can use that in the system to uh, tell the car to move when you're thinking about it. The Insight is a, a wearable, but instead of tracking you know, physical fitness, you'll be able to track mental fitness and cognitive well-being. So you'll be able to you know, take recordings while you're doing various activities and have our apps generate reports for you about those activities, you know, telling you your levels of interest or stress or meditation or excitement, um, doing various activities, and you'll get a longitudinal uh, display of how your brain's changing over time. The customers will receive an inside headset and a companion mobile app that they'll be able to use to take recordings with the headset and get feedback through reports from our cloud servers. So they'll be available this year. We're planning on releasing to the general public within the next few months. Um, so right now we're just uh, privately funded, so we're not taking money from any investors. We launched a Kickstarter campaign about two years ago. Kickstarter raised a little over $1 million. Uh, so we had pre-orders for about 5,000 units just from the Kickstarter alone. Uh, we learned from Archie's experiment that you can focus very well and control a remote control car with his brain. So I'm very happy there is some brain left in my head.